pathway to the real goal, the pyramids of Egypt. Just as the Templars do not owe their name from Solomon's temple in Jerusalem. A symbol for the Jews who even today still bang their heads against the walls of King Solomon's temple to honor this aristocratic ruler, not of Jewish but pharaonic descent. Religious dogmatism without understanding leads to wall bangers and where we probably have the word Bible bangers from. And at this same place, the Crusaders, under Templar command, the latter, so the Templars, of same pharaonic origin, just as the not very Jew, King Solomon. In the year 1099, during the First Crusade, on the same day, July 14th, of the French national holiday, remembering the French Revolution and beginning of the French New World Order, these crusaders were ordered to commit a gruesome massacre commanded by the Knights Templars on Jews, Muslims and even Christians. Just as the Swiss Nazi Templars repeated this during the Nazi era. The real goal of the crusades was Egypt and the treasures of their ancestors in the pyramids. Which became the notorious Templars treasure which they took to the Imperium in the Alps with which they founded the Swiss banks. As a matter of fact, history teaches us that the Templars were the banks of Europe in the Middle Ages. They were the world's first real bankers who invented the Czech. And that's why later on in history, the Swiss banks collaborated with the Nazis. Because the Nazis were the Templars, who both did the same things, steal, murder, lie, collect wealth, and search for the Holy Grail and the Ark of the Covenant. So at the very same time in 1291, when these extremely powerful, wealthy, and the world's first multinational just vanished from the face of the earth into nowhere, so the Templars I mean, at the very same time a couple of simple Swiss peasants suddenly rose against the extremely powerful Austro-Hungarian Empire of Habsburg and using perfect military skills never seen before. Now isn't that funny, eh? De facto, or in fact, the outcome of the entire Crusader campaign was decided in and by the large quantity of available Arab soldiers and where Saladin or Salaheddin was the caliph of, or king of Egypt, so to speak. And this is why Saladin, the aristocrat from direct pharaoh's bloodline, has let the crusaders go free in the reconquest of Jerusalem in 1187, October the 2nd, and spared all lives, where eyewitnesses of the time confirm how priests had their donkeys fully loaded. Oh yeah, this was the notorious Templar's treasure, and those priests, in fact the Templars, are not because Saladin the warlord had such a noble character, but because he was initiated into the worldwide aristocratic internal conspiracy of the new system of ruling or new world order. He in fact let them all go, and with them all their belongings. Oh my, isn't that generous in a 200 year war upon life or death? Jerusalem was just a temporary safe house of the Templar's treasure, no more than that. And the Temple of the Templars was not Solomon's temple in Jerusalem, but just a monastery and God's temple. Not one in particular, but many all over France and all over Europe. And Saladin was a new world order traitor, lying to his subjects and conspiring with his European aristocratic brothers of his own Per A people in another geostrategical war around Pharaoh's treasure. 